Hello everyone, Chaos here, and welcome to another old school RuneScape video. Today, the Hard Baroque Diary. For this set of tasks, you can expect to visit these locations. Feel free to pause if you would like to screenshot this map. For the level requirements, you need 51 agility, 50 construction, 68 farming, 60 fire making, 66 hunter, 54 magic, 52 prayer, 40 ranged, 53 thieving, and 60 woodcutting. For the item requirements, you need around 26,000 points, 2 dashing cabot fur, any axe, 2 law, 1 fire and 1 air rune, a skull scepter, a tinder box, a yew sapling and preferably 10 cactus spines, and farming tools. For the quest requirements, you need to have completed Desert Treasure. You will also need 153 museum kudos. Remember to bring some method of transportation to make this slightly faster. So, once you have everything ready, let's jump into the tasks. Alright, time to increase the difficulty once again with the hard tasks in which we are going to pet this nice boy and we are going to enter this little area in which we can create some clothing out of a hunter resources and we are going to create a, a spottier cape with a two dashing cabot fur. Now go ahead and talk to Smith, to Orlando Smith in the basement of um, the museum with 153 kudos. Next go ahead and redecorate your house with fancy stone here at the, at the estate agent in Varrock. And next we are going to collect at least two U roots from the tree patch. Just go ahead and cut your tree and use a spade on the stump and you are going to get the roots as long as you have the required uh, farming level. Next, we are going to enter the uh, palace, castle, whatever, and we are going to head upstairs and pray to the altar with smite activated. Next, we are going to chop some yew logs in Varrock, and then we are going to burn them at the top of the Varrock church. As you can see, the yew logs are very close to the castle, and once you have it, uh, it, them, I don't know how to call the, it, uh, is it the item or, or are they the logs, who knows? Uh, go ahead and jump all the way to the top of the church and just go ahead and light your U logs. And that is going to be pretty much it. Next, we are going to teleport to Padewa, for which you need to, you know, have your uh, little ancient uh, spellbook and just go ahead and cast the teleport. Next, we are going to squeeze through the obstacle pipe in the Edgeville dungeon. This is the one that takes you to the Moss Giants. Next, we are going to, well, after we land here, I guess, uh, for task number nine, we are going to go to uh, make a waka canoe in, near Edgeville. Now, this one is weird because as long as you just make the, the canoe, that is going to be the end of this task, unlike Lumbridge, for which you need to make the canoe and then board it, which was... Uh, you know, kind of weird. Makes you wonder why you don't need to board this one, but... For the last task, we are going to teleport to Barbarian Village with a Skull Scepter. You need one special drop from each uh, for, uh, from special monsters inside of the Stronghold of, of Security. Once you use them on each other, you are going to get the item and you can teleport. So, that is going to be the end of the hard tasks. Once done, go to the NPC named Toby east of the General Store. You will obtain the Varrock Armor 3. You will also obtain a lamp worth 15,000 experience, and finally all of these other benefits shown on screen. And that's pretty much it. If this video was useful in any way, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more guides. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you soon.